Sometimes the best way to learn something new is to get your feet wet and explore an environment. This location will require you to get fully submerged. At Hunuma Bay on the island of Oahu in Hawaii, there's a nature preserve that was formed by an ancient volcano. The bay is protected from large waves because of its volcanic history, and the beach is literally inside the cone of the extinct volcano. Hanuma Bay has one of the best beaches in the world, but that's not why we're here. Within the bay, there's a vast protected underwater ecosystem with older coral reef and plenty of fish and marine life to explore. Except near the beach, the water's clear with good visibility underwater. The depth of the water varies from three to four feet in most of the sandy areas to over 10 feet on the far east side of the bay. The bluer areas seen from above are areas with a sandy bottom. The most popular area is located here, known as the keyhole. This is a sandy bottom area that is not too deep with easy access to the reef rocks around the keyhole. The dark areas are the reef rocks and the blue area is the keyhole or sandy bottom area. The reef rocks are generally deep enough to swim over. Let's talk about the ocean animals that we saw. There are plenty of fish including unicorn fish, tangs and parrotfish here. You may also get very lucky and find sea turtles. This sea turtle hung out for a long time while we were there. He was eating from the coral and swimming. We also saw sea urchins clinging to the rocks and a few eels. It's not a good idea to stick your fingers in the holes in the reef. Out of the water we saw these really cool crabs on the rocks. These black crabs that blended in very well with the black volcanic rocks were not shiny. There's various types of tang fish. You'll see a lot of convict tangs with their very notable black stripes. Here's a reef triggerfish. These fish have a yellow and black V on their sides. Bird wrasse have a very long face, so they're easy to spot. There are many types of parrotfish you'll probably see here. We saw milkfish or ladyfish. It's a little hard to tell them apart. There are also unicorn fish. Here's a little spotted boxfish. He's a little scared of the camera, as you can see. We saw what I believe are sea slugs. If I get this wrong, please comment in the video. We also saw, barely, what I believe are comet fish. They're very hard to see because they blend in with the water at the top of the surface. Here are some tips if you plan to visit Hanuma Bay. Get there early. It opens at 6 a.m. Parking is only a dollar and is very limited, often filling up before 8.30. If you want to go later, wait until after 2. People will start leaving right after lunch, and then you might have some luck finding a parking spot. Remember, they're closed on Tuesday. Do not plan your day around visiting there on Tuesday, or you'll be very disappointed. After you pay your admission fee, everyone needs to watch a video which shows protecting the bay aquatic habitat. You're going to learn about how Hawaii is trying to protect Hanuma Bay and its animals that live there. Please stay back from the fish and turtles, but it's okay to watch from a distance. Do not stand or touch the reef. There's a tram ride that takes visitors up and down the hill from the top to the beach. It costs a little more than a dollar. If you have difficulty or need help taking things up or down the hill, this is a very small amount. You'll get some great views of the bay if you walk, however. There's snorkel gear rental on the beach near the tram drop-off. Since large groups of people enter the bay after they watch the movie, the line can get very long for rentals. I believe the rental cost was around 20 bucks when we visited, which isn't too bad. However, we rented from Snorkel Bob's and got our gear for about $8 a person for a decent mask, snorkel tube, and flippers. We also got a few snorkeling flotation vests and a small wetsuit for the kids. Those were an additional fee. 
This took some time to go get the gear and drop it off, but we avoided taking time getting the equipment while we were there. So it's a trade-off. Overall, we loved Hanuma Bay and all the sea creatures that we were fortunate enough to see there. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. It would mean the world to us. Thank you so much.